They call him Jesus. Watch what happened first. We're going to move up a couple of verses before we get there. We're going to show you the content of why he said that. Give me 21. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, you son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. He what? He answered her not a word. I thought he wanted to pray to God about anything. He answered. He ignored this woman. Why did he ignore her? Because she was from another nation. She wasn't from Israel. She was from Tyre and Sidon. She's a Canaanite. She's a Catholic woman. Really? Christ just ignored her. Now he trained his disciples. Did he not? Right. Watch what the disciples did. Give it to him. And his disciples came and they saw him saying, Send her away. You hear that? They say, send her away. Send her away because she's having a Send her away. Because she's not an angel. She's not an Israel. she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now who's the lost sheep of the house of Israel? Right? The Bible's got to be read precept and precept to get a better understanding. You can't just read books and read and read. Right, and, don't have do a, and don't have understanding. You don't have an understanding. So in order for us to understand these precepts, it's a similar to we got to go precept before precept. Like I got to say, read the precept just like John 3 16. And you break it down to the truth. That's the church teaching. God so loved the world. Christ identified us. So we 18 nations. Those are words. Israel is the world. And that's in the Bible. Go oh, ahead. Yeah, I can. This is Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 6. My people have been lost sheep. My people what? Have been lost sheep. Christ said, my people have been lost sheep. That's what he said. It's the Israelites, right? Now let's prove to you real quick. I go back to Matthew, go to Matthew 1 and 21. Let's show you who he was born for, right? Real quick. Is this how the New Testament? I want to stay in the New Testament and give you that New Testament. Matthew 1 and 21. Watch what the angel tell her. This is the book of Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he shall say, His people. All people. His people. Everyone. His people. His people. From that their sins. He didn't say everybody. Now, we need to find that his people. His people is the lost sheep, right? Matthew 2 and 6. Matthew 2 and 6. Yeah. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of you shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. My people? Israel. Who else? Is that everybody? Israel. 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 That's the name. You got to keep that understanding on that specific. Why? Because he only know Israel. He don't know what anybody else. Give him Joe 227. Come on, write this. Watch about that. So you say you teach this? Yes, we do. We wake our people up, which is the Hispanics, Native Americans, and all black people. Because we fit the need for good lines. 2815, we fit the curse. It's going to either take you in. So that shows that you're the issue of Israel. You're not American. You're not African American. Who they were African American? It's going to show you too much. We don't have the consequences of what happened. If you want to have a real good solution for America. Lord told you in Isaiah 42, 2, where he said, they shall conquer the nation, and they will not be themselves. If you go back to 1760, you will see a place in the old Africa now called Negro. It's not there no more. That's why when we got all the slave ships, they say, what was for sale? Negro. They didn't say it. Not Africans. Negro. Because they know that the Jews live in Africa and live amongst the Africans because we look at the Africans. Jesus, you know, was a Jewish black, right? Yeah. But he wasn't African. He was did a Jewish right? black. When Eric came and killed him, what did the angel say? Go to him. Why? Land down. That's why when Moses was in a basket, giving it to the beach, and he was in prison, the Pharaoh didn't know because he looked like a Jew. He looked like Chinese. Don't they look alike? They know they look at each other. Like, we have similarities. Look, look, look. 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 Let's move back to 27 to show us that God only ever is the God of God. Look at verse 27. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Who I? Israel. Everybody. Israel. All the world? Israel. Israel. And that I am the Lord, your God, and none else. Say that again. And that, God, and, and that I am the Lord, your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Ain't that? 
when you do this one, you're going to absorb one. Now you don't have to. You're going to take this whole thing down. This is going to be a miracle. You're going to be reborn again like Christ told me to do this. You got to let all that Christianity, that's all that was from Constantine. Thank you. The sweet, 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 this is your book, this is your heritage. That's why they wouldn't let you read it. They, they wouldn't they didn't want you to read it when they first got over there. That's right. And then they put one person up and said, okay, you can read the scripture they want you to read. Because if you figure out that this is really your book, your people, you're really the sons of and children of God, then you're gonna you're gonna overthrow us if they want to have it. So two and verse two, three and two. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. That's why we have all the families of the earth. You only have I known. Pharaoh didn't know. Give me that copy. Exodus 4. Exodus 4. Started one. We show you Pharaoh did not know God. He did not even take up his own mouth. I know not you, God. They said to us, we got a Everybody knows God. Uh, this is the book of Exodus chapter 5 verse 1. And afterward Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, let, of Israel, of Israel, let my people go, that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I shall obey his voice to let Israel go? I, I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel go. You see that? They don't know. So here we come down to this, this home when we get to the New Testament. Everybody say we're in the New Testament. And they want to say John 3 16. But they don't get the context of John 3 16. Because they need to say, Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. My precept is uh, Exodus 4 and 22. And it says, And you shall say to Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son. Who? Israel is my son, even my firstborn. And I say unto you, Let my son go, that he may serve me. And if you refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay your son, even your firstborn. Did he not do that? He destroyed each of you over there now it's dust. Right? So how does God love everybody? That he's favoring one nation and then killing another. Because he don't change, does he? So if he did it back then, he, he, he feel the same way now. He's perfect. He don't have to change. He didn't take us as a people. He told us that he love everybody. It's not true. So the church went through number one. I'll go ahead and get down to the system. Let's break it down for you real quick. That's the most memorized verse in the Bible. God so loved the world. He gave us only God. So we we're going we to break this whole thing. No one can understand this word of God unless you know Israelite. And you got to get people in our life. In order for you to understand God, you got to fear the most high. You got to keep all this laws. And it's not just two. It's 632. And we're going to break this thing down for you. John 3 16. Man, we're going to start at John 3 1. John 3 1. 3, 14, to give the context of the book, right? So let's, let's find that. The book of John chapter 3, verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. A ruler of who? The Jews. Nicodemus was a ruler of Christ. He was a ruler of the Jews. Back in Jerusalem, when Christ walked the earth, he never went amongst the Gentiles. He stayed amongst the Jews. Judah and Southern King, Judah, Benjamin, and the Levites. That was the only ones that was there in Jerusalem with the Messiah, right? So here is a priest coming that's coming as a ruler of the Jews. That Conversation with Christ. Christ is what? He's a Jew. Two Jews. Two Jews talking here. That's we just want to get the context of this scripture. He's not talking to an Australian. He's talking to a Swedish man. He's talking to his own people. He's talking to his own person. That, that will understand really their language. Right. They're going to understand their language. Really yeah. uh, yeah. 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 Drop 14. Verse 14. And Moses lifted up. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. So Moses lifted up. The reason the wilderness was Moses it was Israel. The Israelites. Remember so when they when they turned around and started getting ready really to the most holy, these serpents come up, right? And them serpents start coming up out of the ground and start biting the children of Israel. They started going to turn to Moses, save us, save us, tell them all we're sorry. So, uh, sorry. He told them, get up wines, put a snake, this wines upon them. Lift them up for all who? The children of Israel. They should look up at that serpent on that ground and they should get forgiveness of sin and they should be healed. All those who look up and believe. Christ just told Nicodemus, so will I be lifted up for you. The Israelites. Same way. Same way. Same way. Go ahead. Verse, 
first time, I'm not going to speak to you. That whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now let's break this thing down. Because they get there, they get there, they include everybody. We're going to show See, you that it's, it's right here, don't include everybody. It's show, don't. It, include, it includes it's, all the Israelites. All the Israelites. That's right. And that's, 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 that's the lost sheep. sheep. We're the lost right. sheep. We don't include everybody. Right. Man, I'm going to break this thing down for you. We're going to go to Hebrews. We're going to show the Hebrews too. Uh, oh, you're going to do that. Go ahead and get that. Go ahead. Check this out. Let's see. 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 This is, this is another definition of world. This is John chapter 18, verse 20. It says, Jesus answered him, I speak openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple where the Jews always resort. And in secret have I said nothing. So he's telling them, they're, they're talking to Jesus, the high priest is. He's telling them, I talk, I, I, I talk openly to the whole world. Matter of fact, I was always in the synagogue and they they, where the Jews was at. Yeah, but to the Jews. But, but but he's calling the Jews the world. The world. That's the point. He, he, he's showing them when I when I was when I was among them, he's calling them a world. Yeah, that's what he's saying to him right there. I spoke openly among the world. Where the Jews Where the Jews, but wherever the Jews are at, that's the world he's talking about. Right. Where the Jews are. Right. There you go. You wanna write now? He goes, give me the Hebrews chapter two. You gonna spell that world out. I mean Hebrew C was the Hebrew C the one? Yeah, Hebrew uh, one. 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 Yeah, we're going to break that world down for you because we need to at least pay attention and listen one. to this one. Yeah, go ahead. Um, chapter one. This is Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. God at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, and in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Spell that for me now. Double U O R L E S. S. And then so many that's plural. So it's multiple See that? It's multiple so words. In John 3, 16. Who is he talking about? Israel. Let's get that. Isaiah 45, 17. You know, you know, he's going to tell you what he's talking about. So, yeah. so, so it's showing you there's not just one world. You know, he considers us a world. Like, like Chief said, these different nations are worlds. So, yes. So it wasn't just like he was talking about the whole planet. He's talking about the world of the Jews. And we're going to read it. Here it's um, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. This is what Christ was quoting when he said, he was talking about the world, saving the world. You know, this is what he was quoting. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Say that again. World without end. So who is he talking about in John 3, 16 when he said the God so loved the world? That's Israel. 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 There you go. Now you hear him when he says, uh, for uh, whatever so should call for me, I'm going to show you what he said. We're going to get there in Acts 2 to 24. We're going to show you what he's talking okay. about when he said, for whosoever so ever We're going to get you into Acts 2 to 24. He shows you that he was talking to he is is this book is not for everybody. It's not me. In fact, they took this thing and used it against them, trying to use it against the most high. They used it against his people and stuff. And our people have been sleeping so long. They were facing a new murder. That's right. Why everything going weird? Yes. They got to the new murder. It's back to the story system. They got to be the age of I'm going to show you the price you take. He come in with a sword. He can have his vegetable dipped in blood because you killed his children. Which is the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Give it to him. Book of uh, Acts, chapter 2, verse 28. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You men of Israel, hear these words. Ye men of who? You men of Israel, hear these words. Did he say, Ye men of everyone, hear these words? The Israelites. Now, let's show you right real quick out of all prices. Now, he's going to see a Jew, a Jew coming and says, Hey, a true Israel. He's not going to say Christianity. He ain't gonna say Jehovah. He ain't witnesses. Book of Mormon. He don't say look, Israelite, a true Israelite, no God, which means no sin, right? 
And so the last days, the Lord is waking up his true people. And he's telling us this. He's presenting the prophets out. As you can see, us, because we have to study this 24 7, right? We have to get out here on these blocks, go to the city party spots, and we have to teach this. We have all kinds of photos and everything showing the transatlantic slave trade. And we have to show our people their true identity so we can come back. It's not to scare them when they see these photos. Right? I'm going to show you here where we hung on trees, but the Lord said you're going to hang on trees. What did happen there on the tree? That's in here. We got in here where he said you're going to eat the flesh of my people. Y'all remember that? Yeah. That turn? That's in here. They don't teach you this in church. No, they're not. They're not supposed to have this book. Right? Go ahead. Bring it up. Uh, what's that? John 147. John 147. Go through because everything that's done happening in the world is already been predestined from the beginning. Like Malachi 36, the Lord said, I change not. He don't change at all. He didn't start something and then get somewhere and just get the and say, you know what, let's start with no. He said, I told you not. Uh, John chapter 1 verse 47 Jesus saw Nathaniel coming to him and said to him, Behold, an Israelite indeed. A, a what? An Israelite indeed. And whom is no God. You see that? An Israelite. He didn't see the Christianity, but he said, No, an Israelite. Not everyone can be an Israelite, right? The only people that can be Israelites are God's chosen people. The children, right? Now, let me show you. Go with a real quick option because I'm going to show you something. Yeah, pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Yeah, it's it's the book of Acts, chapter 13 and 1. Listen to this. Now, there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon. That was called a nigger. Called what? Nigger. Called what? Nigger. That's in the body count. That's in the body Let me see that. Let me see that. Mm -hmm. Now they'll say, some people say, oh, that means Niger. No, that's, that means black. Because the Niger River wasn't even around back then. It's not, it wasn't called the Niger River. You said it's the X. X 13. 13. Meaning, this bit, I'm putting this to show you that they even called the prophets nigger. Yes. Which means black. The prophets were black. All the Israelites. All the Israelites. Really? Black. That's right. That's what that's the whole reason why we did. We're telling you you're an Israel. Yeah, it's black, but they weren't Africans. Oh, you're yeah. black, but you're not African. Yeah. Show me, show me. They need to see the difference. Uh, Exodus this, 11 and uh, 7. Uh, show you real quick the difference that God put between the Egyptians and his people. They were not the same. They know what this was. They came to put chains on us. We understand those people that sold us to slavery weren't our people. They kind of looked at the same complexion a little bit, maybe a little darker. They, 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 know, they understood that we weren't the same people. That's right. This is in Exodus verse 11, chapter 11, verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog eat his tongue against man or beast, that you may know how that the Lord do put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. A difference between who? The Egyptians and Israel. Because the Egyptians originate from the dog, from the father, from the father would be Ham. It's from the Indian, the Ethiopians, the Egyptians, I'm going to obtain them, I'm going to be the Lord from Noah's son. That's the purpose we have to Right, we are the sinners of Shem. We the sinners from Shem came right down, right? And they have taught, taught us that this book is not a book. And we don't turn against the Lord. They don't want to come back to the Lord. It's our turn. Jacob's got wings. We the next rulers of this world. And earth, the new earth, the new earth is going to come. We're going to be in rulership. So he's giving us laws, but we got to come back to these laws. He's not waiting on us. He's waiting on that one third. We get to the realm of God like I'm ready to come now.
So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy you, son. But thus shall you deal with them. You shall destroy their altars and break down their images and cut down their roads and burn their graven images with fire. For you are a holy people unto the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you to be a special people unto himself above all people, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Nowhere in their sin that we all see. No. Nowhere. And it's just, it's telling it's in there telling you that we are above. His people are above everybody. That's why we play anything that we take interest in, we are past that. Anything we, we take interest if we like it, like golf, we don't care too much about it. Basket, if we did, we want it. Anything we want, we really want it, we're going to dominate. They understand that. It's worth having people to do stuff like this to ordinary people. Yeah. The community. We don't, have, we don't have it out there. Okay. Because see, these folks are above the law. Or they think they're above the law. Yeah, they think they're above the law. They time is short. They time is real short. They know that. This, that's the names I gave them. We don't have a, 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 a flyer with the... Uh, oh, the name. Oh, let me see. Hold on. 